Hey everybody, it's Monica and welcome back to Period Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Gucci piggy bank. I'm um, pretty much, I was inspired when I was in the Dollar Tree. I saw this retail therapy fun jar and actually, fun fact, I like to just save because I do like to purchase things from Gucci. And so in order to do that, I kind of just set aside a little money when I can and I just keep it in an envelope in my desk. And so I figured this would be a great opportunity to create just a cute little Gucci jar for what I call my Gucci fun. And so that was kind of my inspiration when I saw this. So the first thing we are going to do, and I got the jar from the Dollar Tree if I didn't say it. And so I also got this painter tape from the Dollar Tree. So trying to keep it affordable. So saving for an expensive item and an affordable jar. So we're gonna just take this painter's tape and tape around the rim. So I'm just showing you screwing it on. We don't wanna come over that lip. We just wanna butt it right against it. So again, the jar is from the Dollar Tree as well as this tape. And so for me, I can't get like tape around in one shot <laughs> very easily. And so what I did is just ripped it up in a couple of pieces and just tape around the whole jar again just making sure I butt up against that lip, but don't cover it. Because if you cover the lip, just be aware that it's gonna be clear right there. You're not gonna have anything on it. So jar all taped up and ready to go. I went ahead and I covered this jar in gold metallic spray paint. And honestly, this is just one coat. I thought this looked so beautiful. This spray paint did so well. It's that Rust-Oleum American Accents paint and primer. Again, in the color metallic gold as I'm showing you. And you guys, this is just one coat. And that's all you need is one coat because it's just the undercoat. It's not like it's gonna be epoxy directly on top of that coat. So here's probably the most um, difficult part of the jar. So you're gonna have to go in and decide where you want your Gucci stripe. And so I decided to make the stripes a half an inch um, wide. And so in total, an inch and a half with the three stripes, two green and one red. And so I took the total length of the jar and what you saw me just do was I marked a middle spot. And that from that middle spot on the jar, I'm gonna make the, the red stripe, which is the stripe in the center. So I'm gonna go a quarter of an inch on each side of that middle mark of the jar. And I believe the jar was four inches tall, so that middle mark might be at the um the two inch mark but i don't exactly remember that's what you see me doing just go going a quarter inch um on either side of that middle mark and so now i'm just going to put the other marks for the green on the next to the red stripe on the top and the bottom so then what i'm going to do i'm going to just go in for my own sanity and i put g's where the the green stripes are gonna be. So I know that just, again, for my own sanity, um, so I know where those are supposed to be. So I'm gonna go this time with the tape and I actually, like, I cut the tape down the center and I'm gonna do the red stripe first and just taking the, the clean edge, not the edge that I cut since I didn't cut the tape straight and just go all the way around the cup. I didn't like press it in really hard because I didn't want to rip or risk any of the spray paint coming off. And so I just lightly um, placed it onto the jar and just leave a little tab so you can get it off for yourself. So I did that on the top and the bottom to mark off that middle um, line. And what you see me doing, just going around making sure from the top of the tape that it's even all around because that'll tell me that my stripe will be even, at least along the bottom line. So next, getting to the glittering portion. And you guys just using the Mod Podge method, you see I got my, my pieces of tape on there. 
and all I'm gonna do is go in I'm using these two types of glitters so again keeping it affordable and that's my inspiration I hadn't shown you guys but that's a Gucci card holder that I own um, that was the red recollections red and then recollections emerald so you can pick those up in Michaels and they are eligible for the coupon so just going around the whole cut with Mod Podge it doesn't have to be like even or thin or anything like that just want to get it on there and then I'm just going directly in with the red and glittering so that's how it looks still with the tape on it and so for the green you guys is the next day um, for the green I wanted a deeper green to really go with the Gucci and so what you see me pointing at that is the green that's the emerald green just straight out the bottom and like I'm like and this red and this green together is looking a little bit like Christmas it's not really looking like Gucci so I took the recollection shade black I believe that's black and I mixed it with the emerald to get a true emerald which is what I was looking for it's something a little deeper a little more rich in order to give me that the deep a little foresty green that I was looking for in order to get that Gucci stripe green so before we go in and tape for the green stripes and I'm just pointing you I can where my my marks are where I marked off my green at and top and the bottom I'm actually just gonna take just like a fluffy this is a fluffy makeup brush um, and just dusting off all that excess red glitter to just show the clean lines off of the the red stripe and just prep for the green so all taped up for the green on the top and bottom and again this time I'm just going to go in with a smaller brush and Mod Podge in preparation for glittering So sorry you guys, I was out of uh, frame for a lot of this, so <laughs> it's really hard to see what I'm doing, but you kind of get the gist of it. It's just like glittering a mug. So going in on the top and bottom and going ahead and glittering those. So pulling the tape off. And you do want to pull the tape off immediately after you finish each layer um, because when you dry it on there it may you have tape that's on the same portion of glue I'm sorry that's on the same portion of the tape and the actual glitter it'll rip it off once it dries so that's how it looks after that's just one layer of the green and that it's two layers you guys look how good that looks so those that's two layers of each color of the glitter blows the green and the red so next I was trying to decide that's the gold on the left and then champagne on the right I really didn't know which color I wanted to use on this and so I actually decided to go and that's the champagne I'm using so I thought the champagne was a little I don't want to say deeper but deeper is really the word I'm looking for and I thought that was kind of just more reflective of the Gucci design um, where the Gucci is really like browns and tans and that and that's more what the champagne shade gave me as opposed to the gold shade so I decided to go with the champagne so you're just gonna do that on the top and bottom and that's how it looks prior to epoxying it and that's two layers of glitter as well so I went ahead and I did one layer of spin epoxy, a full, so a full epoxy job on my spinner. And that's how it looks. And I think it looks really good like this. And you could honestly just leave it like this if that's what you like. Um, but I decided to be a little extra. And I wanted to put some Gucci decals on there. And so this is just an image I took out of Google Images and traced on Silhouette. If you're interested in how I do that, please leave a comment below. And so I got the Gucci interlocking G's and as well as the words Gucci fun, which is just a word I use when I do save money. So I figured it was applicable to the jar. And so standard application of vinyl. I'm just going to figure out where I want to place it. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to go like not on the stripes, but I said to go directly on the stripes. And so I'm just going to place those decals where I want them on the jar.